Sudan has accused the UAE of fueling Sudan's civil war by arming the RSF. To which the UAE ambassador responded, We see this as a shameful abuse by one of the warring parties of Sudan of this council, using this platform to spread false allegations against the UAE. But is this an empty accusation? Or is the UAE complicit in what UN officials refer to as one of the worst humanitarian nightmares in recent history? Currently, there is an intense armed conflict in Sudan between the country's military, known as the Sudanese Armed Forces, and a parliamentary group called the Rapid Support Forces. The RSF originated from the Janjaweed militias, which were employed by President Omar al-Bashir's government in the early 2000s to suppress a rebellion in Sudan's Darfur region. The militias grew bigger over time and in 2013 it was officially turned into the RSF. At first, it was mainly used to guard Sudan's borders. Then in 2015, the RSF and Sudan's regular army started sending soldiers to fight in Yemen's war alongside forces from Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. The conflict in Sudan escalated in April 2023 due to a power struggle between the Sudanese armed forces and the RSF. A leaked UN report described an illegal weapons route from Abu Dhabi to Darfur via eastern Chad violating a UN arms embargo on Sudan. The UAE denied sending weapons and claimed its flights to Chad carried humanitarian supplies. But the UN report deemed the allegations of UAE weapons shipments credible and corroborated by sources in Chad and Darfur. The weapons shipment coincided with the RSF acquiring sophisticated weaponry including drones, howitzers and anti-aircraft missiles. But why might the UAE be helping the RSF? The UAE has significant economic interests in Sudan, including agricultural land, livestock imports, financial networks and port projects along the Red Sea coastline. Sudan has also accused the UK of protecting the UAE. During an emergency UN Security Council meeting on 29 April, Sudan attempted to discuss the UAE's aggression, but the UK intervened to change the meeting's format, resulting in closed consultations that excluded Sudan's representative. The UAE reportedly cancelled four ministerial meetings with the UK to pressure it into intervening against Sudan's complaints. The civil war has resulted in over 14,000 deaths, 33,000 injuries and up to 10 million displaced people.